Hi, I'm Sean Brown from Superyacht News, and I'm here with Hawkan from Kaimeta. He's the VP of Maritime. So we've just come out of the workshop where we were talking about domeless designs. Hawkan, what are your thoughts on domeless designs, and tell us a little bit about Kaimeta, please. Yeah, so Kaimeta, we're uh, four years into the making of flat panel antennas and we're very excited because it's a fantastic time right now because we have working prototypes, we have tested them on boats, we've been driving 20,000 miles with them in a car being connected to internet so it's a really good time to engage with the designer community here both for new builds and refits to really start plan for the biggest what we call sea change really see and see change in, in the for yachts to uh, get rid of those uh, unsightly domes and even uh, either have uh, completely invisible flat panels or even visible uh, panel that uh, Ben showed off here at the seminar I, I guess the, uh, the kind of the, the, the best thing to say about the the, ki the Kymeta flat panels is better performance and an efficient, like, an, an efficient cost behind it as well. So, to to the people watching, and the costings are they're going to get flat panels. They're not going to have the huge domes. Is this going to have a, an exaggerated cost on it, or how does that fall? Yeah. So the, uh, there's a number of benefits that we see for for the super yacht industry. One is the vis visible uh, aspects of that you get rid of the domes, but that's just, that's part of it. Uh, you know, we have partnered with Panasonic and uh, E3 and uh, um, Intelsat and Intellion and iDirect because it's a whole ecosystem where we're developing the connectivity to what the next generation of uh, owners, guests, and charter uh, customers expect. Because where, when you are at home or at your office, you, you have hundreds of megabit per second for internet streaming, you want to do Facebook. Uh, when you're out on, on your yacht, you, you want to have that experience, right? Yeah. And that's really what we're developing for. So it's no longer kilobits, we're talking about gigabits per second. I remember being crew on board the yacht, but as soon as the owner was on board, they'd have to partition. The, the bandwidth, so yeah. we'll, we'll get nothing, we couldn't Skype home, and if, if you're on a six week charter, and without being able to see your family, it's, it, it's tough, so you're opening doors for the crew welfare as well, I guess. Yeah, and you know, if you're chartering a, a boat, you probably wanna show off to your friends and family, say, hey, what a fantastic uh, experience this is, and you can't do that if you're not connected. No, so, exactly. yeah. no Snapchat or social media with when you've uh, got piddly bandwidth. <laughs> terrible if you have to sit there and just enjoy the scenery, right? Yeah, yeah. why would you want to do that in the <laughs> middle of the ocean? Yeah. So, um, Carmeta, what can we expect uh, for, the, for the next steps? So where, when can we look forward to um, a, another update with Carmeta? When can we look forward to seeing it on board and uh, actually installed? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we will be at the Monaco show, so uh, stay tuned for what we'll be doing there. But we we have al already started testing our solutions on yachts and in, in cars. Um, and uh, the nature of the rest of the year and early next year is really going to, to test, retest and re-retest to make sure that it lives up to the what it's expected to do. And, you know, one part is our flat panel, but the other thing is uh, Panasonic's worldwide network where you get both internet and live TV. And we want to make sure it's a completely seamless experience for the yacht owners. I'm sure they can't wait to see that. Yeah. And uh, lastly, uh, we're at Super Yacht Design Week. This is your first uh, major introduction to the Super Yacht market. Yeah. Um, how are you finding it, the, the people here, the, the, the setup of the workshop, is it, is it what you were, you were looking forward to? This is fantastic. Uh, I think, uh, you know, designers has such an uh, incredible vision. Mm. Uh, but unfortunately, to date, their design vision hasn't become the reality. We were looking at the workshop here of a number of yachts that ended up with a mushroom farm on top of the dome antenna. So their intent never became realized. So every designer I've been talking to here is very excited about that this is finally coming to fruition. Hi, I'm Sean Brown from Super Yacht News. I'm here with Roger Horner from E3 Systems. And uh, we've just come out of the Kai Meta workshop where we're focused on the domeless design. So thank you very much for joining us, Roger. Um, Okay, Domeless Designs, E3 Systems, where did it all come about? Okay, well we are a 20-year-old uh, communications integrator. We're an independent communications integrator and we provide very simply data connectivity to yachts. And we're an innovation company, we like new products, we've introduced a number of new products into the yachting industry uh, from other, other industries. And we came across Kaimeta, the flat panels, 
um, through one of our other business relationships in 2013, immediately picked the phone up and called Kaimeta and um, asked, what about yachting? Yeah. And um, they, uh, they, said, um, they said, well, we'd love to get involved with yachting, but we don't know how to. And we said, well, we do. We can help you. So that started off a relationship which has gone on for three years now, uh, which initially started off with doing market research for them at the Monaco show in 2013 yeah. to see what the industry thought. And we had about a 150% hit rate. It was extraordinary at the Monaco show from designers, owners, captains, um, engineers, everybody saying this is fantastic. Can we have it? Oh, can we have it yesterday? Um, yeah, and that, that was the reaction that we had from the industry. So we took it basically from there. And we've been working with um, Kaimeta now for the last three years. Um, we've toured uh, different uh, uh, boat shows. Uh, we've, we've exhibited at different boat shows. We've run seminars with um, Kaimeta as a keynote speaker. Uh, we've been um, an, on, on a dedicated tour of shipyards, all the big main shipyards, yeah. um, the Lursens, Blom and Voss, Hoisman, uh, Fedship, Fincantieri, Bonetti, and, um, and to basically not just, not just to tell them about the flat panel, but to actually get feedback as to what they would like. Hi, I'm Sean Brown from Superyacht News, and we're in the Kai Meta workshop here, that, talking about domeless designs. I'm here with Ole, uh, from uh, Marine Technologies, uh, who, uh, and in the, in the workshop Ole had quite a lot to say because his knowledge is quite deep in the subject of communication systems. So uh, Ole, first of all, Domeless Designs, what, what are your thoughts, your initial thoughts? Well, I mean, not only for the design and the aesthetics, but also for the practicality of not having a lot of big domes shadowing for everything else that you have on the roof of a, of a vessel, either it be a yacht, or offshore vessel or tanker or a container ship. Um, I primarily work in the oil and gas industry and say a vessel has four or five domes, then there's another 15, 20 antennas that also need to communicate but what's above. The biggest problem in making a good antenna arrangement is the domes. Those are the challenge because they need the prime space, they want to be as high as possible, a certain distance between them to have optimal communication with the satellites. But so do the G GPS antennas and a lot of other antennas. Uh, so if we can get rid of that, our job making an uh, optimal t antenna arrangement, piece of cake. W uh, on a commercial vessel you wouldn't care so much about the aesthetics. These uh, new uh, panels are so small, we could basically put them anywhere and you could use them as they were. You wouldn't think about the color or whatever that was on them or the shape. When you come to a yacht, of course, aesthetics is one of the highest priorities. But again, as we've heard here today, there are numerous materials of which you can cover this dome, get it the same color as the yacht, it might be a little bit matte, you can't have any uh, metals in the paint because you were the... Of we we of spoke about the wraps as well that could uh, overcome yes. that. Yes, exactly. So you have uh, really given the designers a lot of possibilities, where to put it, how to cover it. You might even make a design feature out of the areas where these flat panels are. Hi, I'm Sean Brown from Superyacht News. and I'm here with Ben Tuff from CEA Industrial Design. And we've just come out of the domeless design session of the, uh, the Kaimeta workshop. So thank you very much for joining us. Um, Domeless designs. It must be amazing as a designer to have the opportunity to design something without having to plaster on a, uh, a big dome at the end of your initial kind of uh, mm. vision for the yacht. Uh, how do you see it? Thank you for having me in this interview. Um, so to me as a designer, it's always interesting to learn about new technologies and innovative solutions. And I've had my eye on um, Kaimita with their domeless uh, solutions since uh, 2013 and uh, I think it's really exciting to look at it from a different point of view so rather than discussing about the future of uh, yachts having domes or not having domes um, me with my industrial design background I look at things like that as a technology uh, and uh, or te technology going through a certain uh, evolutionary process um, so if this technology really proves to be beneficial in the long term and more and more clients uh, will choose that technology over domes, 
then it will be us designers who will have to make the most out of it. And then we can step in on what it means in terms of the overall aesthetic of yachts in the future. And to me personally, I think it will be a huge benefit because uh, it will affect the overall silhouette. Uh, it will reduce a lot of uh, visual weight on top at the mast and around the mast. And you'll have uh, simply a lot more freedom to style around um, the mast or maybe uh, rethink what the mast really has to look like in terms of its uh, architecture. And that simply is a great uh, opportunity to really find out about new aesthetic values using flat panels. And I think that uh, it will probably be challenging to designers to really incorporate the technology early enough in the design process to have maximum control of the um, shapes and then uh, you'd probably uh, create uh, maintainable cavities within the superstructure volume where you could then implement the uh, flat panels yeah. and ultimately you're, you're going to end up with a certain new um, form or a new uh, style of aesthetic influence.